It's supposed to be 70 degrees today. It's freezing here. <laughs> Speaking of global warming, where is we need some global warming? It's freezing. The most criticized scene in the movie An Inconvenient Truth was showing that the combination of sea level rise and storm surge would flood the 9-11 memorial site. And people said, what a terrible exaggeration. Hurricane Sandy slammed into New York City last night, flooding the World Trade Center site. Storms get stronger and more destructive. Watch the water splash off the city. This is global warming. I felt so scared, sorry. Despair can be paralyzing, but this to me is the most exciting new development. We're seeing a tremendous amount of positive change. The basis is there, but it's still not enough. It's crunch time at the climate change conference in Paris. Still some really tough negotiations going on. What would it take to shift to renewables? I'm talking about breaking the impasse. Virtually every nation in the entire world agreed to get to zero greenhouse emissions. It is unprecedented. It's time to put America first. That includes a promise to cancel billions in climate change spending. Our plan will end the EPA. The next generation would be justified in looking back at us and asking, what were you thinking? Couldn't you hear what the scientists were saying? Couldn't you hear what Mother Nature was screaming at you? This movement is in the tradition of every great movement that has advanced humankind. We're not going to recognize it. We don't want to discuss it. It is right to save humanity. It is wrong to pollute this earth. It is right to give hope to the future generation. Don't let anybody tell you that we're going to get on rocket ships and live on Mars. This is our home.